Hi, I'm Dr. Suvina Atava, aka the Skinovative Doctor. I'm a dermatologist and a hair transplant surgeon. Let's talk about how to select a sunscreen for your skin. The two most broad categories of sunscreens are physical and chemical sunscreens. Now, what are the basic differences between these? Physical sunscreens generally contain zinc oxide and titanium dioxide and they provide protection against UVA, UVB and visible light. Now a physical sunscreen actually works by blocking the sun rays from entering the skin. Chemical sunscreens on the other hand are mainly composed of avobenzone, oxybenzone, faba and salicylates. Now these work by actually absorbing the UV radiations and dissipating the energy into heat energy thereby preventing the sun induced damage on the skin. The only drawbacks of a physical sunscreen is that it usually leaves a white casting on the surface of the skin which most people dislike. Chemical sunscreens on the other hand are more cosmetically appealing. Now the basic differences between these two would also be that a physical sunscreen can be applied just before leaving the house outdoors. However, a chemical sunscreen needs to be applied at least 20 minutes before leaving. Physical sunscreens are more safer on the skin because of their lesser irritancy potential as well as they don't clog pores. They are safe in pregnancy as well as in the pediatric age group. So I know now what are the indices I need to look for on the sunscreen label, whether I need a physical or a chemical sunscreen. But the main question, how do I know what sunscreen would suit my skin type? Now if you have an oily skin, a gel based or a light lotion based sunscreen with a bit of mattifying effect will definitely suit you. You can also look for the words non-comedogenic or oil free written on the sunscreen packet. If you have a combination to normal skin type, you can go again for a gel or a lotion based sunscreen. If you have dry skin, you would definitely go for a sunscreen which is either cream based or it is also fortified with certain ingredients like glycerin and hyaluronic acid. Apart from this, if you're looking for a sunscreen for the body, you would preferably go for a lotion or a spray based sunscreen. Apart from this, if you are somebody who spends a lot of time indoors, you do not require something uh, which has only UVA and UVB protection, you would also require something with infrared and HEV protection. So what do you do then? You look for the ingredients, iron oxide and antioxidants, which could be vitamin C, uh, green tea extract, flavonoids, phenolics. These things would provide, provide protection against infrared radiations and visible light. Now, if you have an acne prone skin, a sensitive skin, or if you're pregnant, or if you're looking for a sunscreen for kids above the age of six months, you would again prefer a physical sunscreen which has zinc oxide, titanium dioxide and iron oxide. Now some of the sunscreens also come as tinted versions. So a tinted sunscreen basically means it has this pinkish white cast on your skin uh, which gives a little bit of uh, effect of a makeup. So if you're looking for some sunscreen which gives you sun protection as well as uh, a bit of makeup or cosmetic coverage, you could also go for a tinted sunscreen. I hope you now have some clarity on how to select a sunscreen for your skin. Do start looking into these factors while selecting your sunscreen and see how it works on your skin. Feel free to drop in your queries in the comment section if there's anything that needs to be addressed. Bye for now. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.